there. Well, the weather this morning, it is quite active, just to say the least, and we do have a lot of weather advisories to talk about. Western and northern parts of New Mexico, and this doesn't include the Albuquerque metro, but it's close. Uh, winter weather advisory until 6 o'clock, 3 to 6 inches of snow in these areas, and it looks like uh, winter storm warnings will continue to be the course of the day, at least through about 6 o'clock or so this evening. These areas shaded in pink. That'll take you back up towards the four corners, Durango, Cortez, and back into Chama in northern parts of New Mexico. So why do we have all these advisories? Well, pretty easy to answer that question. We've got some snow in the area. Now, the snow seems to have kind of started to taper off across, say, the four corners, but we're still getting snow in and around, say, the Santa Fe area stretching along I-25, especially those higher areas right along the Glorieta Pass to the south of there. And as you stretch on back up into parts of, say, the Española Valley, we're starting to see more rain changing to snow in those areas as well. So a very, very busy weather morning out there. And even though a lot of the heavier rains have tapered off in downtown Albuquerque, look at this, from up around Rio Rancho to Bernalillo and further north than that, we've still got some pretty steady rain to talk about out there this morning. Now, the temperature this morning, it's not very cold. Certainly not all that cold in the east where temperatures are in the 40s. We're just shy of the 40-degree mark, 39 in Albuquerque. Certainly, though, the showers have uh, made up for that. And even though the official report's now 34 in Santa Fe, we do have reports of a couple of inches of snow on the ground up in that area. And you can see the storm rolled in just as we had expected. This is the position of storm system number one. Go ahead and count on storm system number two that's coming on to the west coast to be pretty much so in the same place by tomorrow morning. So that said, more wintry weather is coming. The northwest and the southwest, both of these areas will be prime targets late tonight and early tomorrow morning for getting more snow. In the meantime, there will be a little bit of a break in the action as we make our way on into the afternoon. And a pretty good look at afternoons in store for you in the southeast as well as the northeastern part of New Mexico. These areas will be in the 50s, 60s, and maybe even 70s. Yeah, that's right, down in parts of Eddie and Lee County. Not bad, not bad at all. Now, there's still a chance for a shower, too, but most of the rain appears to be confined to the western part of the state and, of course, the snow to the higher elevations. And that means up in northern New Mexico, another three to six inches of snow possible today. And we'll probably tack on another half inch to inch of snow in Santa Fe just for good measure before things wind down this morning. Uh, same story for the East Mountains. Further east into Torrance County, it's just rain for you, but it does mean some wet roadways. And certainly those rain-soaked roadways in the Metro. We'll see that again tomorrow morning. While the today and tomorrow storm really brings more rain than anything for Albuquerque, colder weather could filter in by the end of the week. That means a little snow possible in the metro as well. Okay, thanks a lot, Jason. Boy, it's a big one. Right now, let's see how things are running on the metro streets. We don't have any alerts to tell you about. This is a live picture from Cedillo Hill, but we do want to let you know I-25 southbound at the Gloria at the exit. There are a couple of semis that are stuck in the snow and they can't get any wreckers out there to move them. So things will be moving very slowly and please take care on the roadways, everyone.